tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started? What kind of platform have you built? Well, I'm a writer, uh, but for a long time I wouldn't admit that. And a few years ago I got really frustrated with uh, writing pieces, pitching them to magazines, and getting turned down or just not hearing back. And I knew that I eventually wanted to publish a book someday, and so I knew that I needed a platform. So I started a blog. So how did that uh, dream of becoming a writer and living the writing life, how was that born in you and when was it born in you? Yeah. So uh, like I said, a few years ago I started having the same conversation with friends over and over again. And the conversation was, what is your dream? Went to conferences, this word kept coming up, dream, dream, dream. Mm. And uh, finally, I said, well, I guess my dream is to be a writer. And I was hesitant to admit that because I was afraid of failing. Um, but I admitted it and I started this blog uh, because I kept getting turned down or I kept getting ignored by magazine publishers, which is what I was trying to publish at the time, were magazine articles. And so I, I started the, the blog to hopefully get noticed. Didn't you tell me though it, it, it wasn't that attractive to you initially because all the writers you knew were broke? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, I mean I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't ever think that I could make money writing. And so the first time I wrote an article several years ago, um, I got it published in a magazine and I thought, well oh, this is great. You know, I got $250. <laughs> I could do this every month for the rest of my life and like, you know, this would be great. This would be a great <laughs> hobby. And, um, but, uh, you know, after I wrote that article, it was a cover story for a magazine that had a circulation over 100,000. And uh, I sent them an article the next month, nothing, next month, nothing. You know, two and a half years later. Wow. Uh, they go, hey, we'd like to publish you again. By the way, who are you? And that's when I knew I needed a platform. Yeah. So you started initially with a platform. And by the way, you had a full-time job. Right. And we'll come back to that. But you started with a blog initially, but it didn't really go anywhere. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so you know the organization that I worked for basically gave you a blog when you signed up, when you joined the organization. And so I had this blog, but it was connected to my work. Uh, it was branded with with you know their organizational stuff, and it was fine, and it was a great place to practice. Uh, but I hit this ceiling where I had you know at most a hundred or two hundred readers hmm. on, a, on a daily basis, or monthly? yeah, yeah, so yeah. like. 200 unique visitors was like the best day hmm. and I had maybe a hundred subscribers with RSS and email and I thought that was great but that took four years to build and I just stayed there hmm. no matter how hard I tried it just didn't seem to go anywhere and how often were you posting there I was posting every day Wow so I was I thought I was doing everything right and I got really frustrated looking around at all of these bloggers that I saw seemingly you know blowing up overnight and I was like what are they doing that I'm not doing? Yeah. I'm trying to think when we had coffee the first time at Starbucks, where were you in your journey there? That was a couple years ago. Yeah, so I was in this place of frustration where I hadn't yet started my blog, goingswriter.com, the blog that you know you, uh, most people know, and, uh, but I was thinking about it. And mm -hmm. I spent months going, should I do this, shouldn't I do this? I was afraid to leave my old blog behind and start over, but I knew that I needed to do it. I just needed to get the courage. Yeah, so you also mentioned to me that there was a point in time where you declared yourself a writer. I want you to talk just a little bit about what led to that yeah. and how that was a breakthrough for you. Well, around the time we met, and so we're talking about almost two and a half years ago, um, I started this personal coaching program that was you know, a cohort mastermind type group mm -hmm. of 12 people. And the first or second meeting, somebody asked me what my dream was. And at first I deflected it because most of the people my age were talking about their dreams are starting a business or they're you know, saying they're going to publish a book and six months later they're, you know, they've moved on yeah. and, and they haven't done what they said they were going to do. And so that just felt like an excuse to be flaky for me. And so I was like, <laughs> I'm not interested in dreams. Like I have a wife, uh, I have a life, I have a job, I'm fine. And so when somebody asked me what my dream was, I said, nah, I don't have one of those. Yeah. And he pushed a little bit harder and he'd been through some therapy and so he kind of, <laughs> you know. Dug was, in. Yeah, he asked me questions. Everything he said kind of raised at the end as if he was implying something. And he said, hmm, that's really strange. Uh, I would say that your dream is to be a writer. But if you say you don't have a dream, that's, that's fine. Now when he said that, did it resonate within you or did you kind of push away from it? Oh man, it hit me. hit me hard. Really? And, I, and I said, yeah, I, I felt defeated. <laughs> really? I was like, yeah, I, I guess you're right. I would like to be a writer maybe someday. And uh, 
you know, I just, I was afraid. I was somebody who wrote, but I thought that you had to have a, a badge or a book publisher or something to call yourself mm -hmm. a writer. And you get permission. He, right. Yeah. And he said these words that changed my life. He said, well, Jeff, you don't have to want to be a writer. You are a writer. You just need to write.